Welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Phalanx video. In this episode, I'd like to demonstrate how the envelopes in Phalanx work. This is the AMP envelope, and it modulates volume over time. Each envelope has an attack, decay, sustain, and release stage. which can be freely adjusted to taste. To adjust these parameters, move the blue dots in the Envelope Editor window. Note that the background image of the waveform is updated to reflect how the sound is being affected by the envelope. You can also adjust the curves of the attack, decay, and release stages in the Envelope Editor window. Simply click anywhere along a connecting line and drag up or down to make it more convex or concave. If your mouse has a wheel, you can zoom in and out of the envelope, which is useful for fine control of envelope times and curves. Click on the back button to zoom out completely. The envelopes can be disabled entirely. In the case of the AMP envelope, switching it off means that the whole sample will always be played back from beginning to end. This feature is especially useful for drums, like bass drums, which you would usually want to sound absolutely the same as the original sample. The Phalanx envelopes can be synchronized to song tempo. The grid changes from absolute milliseconds to BPM relative note values. The lines in this mode are magnetic. If you drag a dot very close to a line, it will snap and stay in sync with any tempo you set in your sequencer. You can use the little preset browser on the far right to save and load your own AMP envelope settings, or simply select one of the many factory preset envelopes. Time scale is yet another neat function. Every envelope in Phalanx includes a time scale knob which you can use to speed up or slow down the whole envelope without having to adjust the individual stages. Timescale is great for trying out what a longer or shorter envelope would sound like, and is also useful for various modulation effects. Let's have a look at the three switches at the bottom right. The first one is Sustain On-Off. Switching this on means that when you hold down a note on your keyboard, the envelope remains at the sustain level until you release the key again, after which it goes into its release phase. When sustain is off, you have a so-called one-shot envelope. Once a note has been triggered, the envelope goes through all its stages and stops at release. Whether or not you hold the key down makes no difference. The next control is re-trigger pre or post. This lets you specify whether you want the re-trigger effect before or after the amp envelope. When this is set to pre, the re-trigger effect comes before the amplifier, which means that the amp envelope is applied to the overall sound. When this is set to post, the re-trigger effect comes after the amplifier so the amp envelope is applied to each re-triggered instance of the sample. There's also a position switch, but we'll come back to this after taking a look at the filter envelope. All the elements on the left-hand side are practically the same as those in the amp envelope, so we only need to look at the differences here. The filter also has its own preset browser. <laughs> Time 
type sets the filter mode, offering low pass, high pass, band pass, or notch in 6, 12, or 24 decibel per octave variations. Cutoff controls how much the filter is opened or closed. And Resonance controls the amount of filter internal feedback. The next control is the envelope amount. It determines how strongly this envelope will modulate the cutoff frequency. Let's give that a listen by building a simple snapping filter sound right now. Finally, the drive control, which can create filter distortion. The models dirty and clean set whether this is applied to the signal before or after the envelope. This is where that position switch in the amp envelope comes into play. Position governs whether the amp envelope comes before or after filter distortion. A huge difference when using heavily distorted sounds. The last envelope we'll be looking at in this video is the pitch envelope. This one also has its own browser, and this also comes with a bunch of factory presets. The pitch envelope affects the playback rate and therefore the pitch. Pitch modulation from the envelope can be either smoothed or stepped, which can result in typical chiptunes effects. The amount of modulation from the pitch envelope is set using the range control. The limits here are two complete octaves up and down. Another great function in the pitch envelope is activated by the flip switch, which turns the envelope upside down. Of course, the pitch envelope also has a timescale function, giving you comfortable real-time control over the speed of the pitch envelope. And the sync switch also has the potential for some seriously wicked rhythmic sounds. The pitch envelope panel includes portamento functions too. Portamento means smoothly gliding the pitch from one note to the next. The speed of this gliding effect is set using the time control. and the shape of the glide is adjusted using the curve control. Zero percent here means a linear glide, and 100 percent means an intensely logarithmic glide. Phalanx also includes yet another envelope, the modulation envelope. We'll be taking a close look at this one later, in the video all about the modulation matrix. Enough about the phalanx envelopes for now. See you in the next video.